everyone welcome back to my channel today we're gonna be making a Halloween DIY and it's gonna be pretty neat I found this idea just yesterday on Pinterest and I had never seen it before and what it's called is a Halloween diorama this is what it looks like so um, the one on the picture that I found um, it's white and it has like a white light in it and it has a little tree with a skeleton and what it basically is is it's it's kind of like the fairy garden that I made a couple videos ago but this time you're gonna be doing it inside of a pumpkin and at first I didn't know that the stores were already selling like the pumpkin with the hole already made I thought I would have to buy a plastic pumpkin and actually make the circle on my own but Luckily, Hobby Lobby does sell the ones already with the hole already made it, and I'll go ahead and show you guys in a minute. But practically, you just get the same kind of stuff, but obviously Halloween themed, so you get like little miniature stuff like pumpkins and bats, whatever you want to include, like skeletons, and you just throw it in there and make a little landscape. And I think it's a really good idea because you can use it every year since you're not using a real pumpkin. So I think it's just a really neat idea and I, I think it's going to be something that I'm going to enjoy because I actually did enjoy making the fairy garden a lot and I still have it back there. So after this, I'm probably am going to switch to the little pumpkin because I think it'll be cool to have it out for the rest of this month. But yeah, we can go ahead and get started because I think this is probably going to be one of my favorites. Okay, so I'm going to go over the stuff that I got at the store and of course the first thing that I'm going to show you guys is the hollow pumpkin. So as you can see the hole's already made and it's plastic and it's pretty realistic looking and I was just really surprised that they were already selling these for that purpose. It was a little more than the regular pumpkins but it's like I said it's worth it because it's gonna be like a decoration that you can use over and over again every year. So I got this one. They didn't have any other colors so I went with the orange one and then I got um, a black piece of paper and then I got the moss. Um, I went with moss that was this color so it's like the white color. I went with some little bats and some pumpkins and this is the same kind that I got uh, for my fairy garden but these were little pumpkins that they were selling so of course I had to go with that and then um, for the trees like I said you can use uh, branches from your trees outside so I just went on a walk and I picked up some branches so I can either do two separate ones or I can just glue these together and make it into one tree so I'll see what I come up with, but I thought these were pretty good size for the inside of the pumpkin. Last thing is the fairy lights. And these are the same kind that I have for the fairy garden. I'm gonna go ahead and get started with this. You can easily just stick this over here, like this. And I'm gonna just position it in the middle. So kind of like that where it's all dark and you really can't see because if you're look at, looking at it straight on, you're just going to see the black. Alright, so now I have to figure out where the fairy lights are going to go. So I'm going to go ahead and get these out. Let's see if it turns on. Voila! So they're on. I kind of want this to be like the stars. If that makes sense. To poke a hole over here, kind of with there's already one. There we go. And it's pretty easy. See, it just goes right through. And then I'm going to put the lights through here. So you just glue a little bit and then just push in the wire. I'm going to go ahead and measure the little sticks to see if they'll fit in there. Here's what the trees look like so far and they look pretty good. Again, I'll give you guys a better idea what this looks like once it's all glued and stuff because right now it's kind of hard to see based on where it's um, located and how I'm working in a very small space in there. But so far, this is what it looks like. I'm letting the trees kind of set in there because I put hot glue. So I'm going to give it a couple minutes and then um, 
I'll start with the little decorations. All right, so now um, we are ready to put in the little bats. So they're tiny little bats. And I was thinking I could glue them to the little branches. This is what the end result looks like and I think it looks really really cute. Alright, this is the end of the video and I obviously really like the way it turned out. I think it's going to be really good to have them out there in my house with my decorations for the rest of the season and it was actually fairly easy. I think that everybody can really do this and you can really get creative. If I would have had more time, I probably would have made little holes on the paper and probably would have just stuck through uh, the fairy lights to make it look more like the sky or like stars but I just went ahead and glued it and then just painted over the glue and I don't mind that you can see a little of that because from far away you really can't tell and I am so glad I found the pin I had some other stuff in mind that I want to try um, definitely something with pumpkins and maybe carving them or either painting them. I did find some really good ideas the other day. So yeah, if you guys like this video, please give it a like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye!